Today I'm going to review how to create a custom ABR protocol using the GSI Audera Pro. There are a couple of ways to do this. One, you can load an existing protocol and edit it and save it, or you can start with the default settings that are built into the system. So we're going to start with that. We're going to go to the protocol drop down menu up at the top left, go to modality ABR, and I'm going to select ABR for my protocol. I'm going to select yes, go ahead and load those default settings, and now I'm ready to begin. First I'm going to go to the amplifier settings, EEG and amplifier settings, and I'm going to be testing an adult. So I'm going to set these, the gain and high pass filters for an adult test. The gain is set to 100,000, I'm happy with that. High pass filter, 100 hertz, that's good. Low pass filter, I prefer, I can use 1500, but I prefer to use 3000 hertz. And I'm gonna turn off the line filter, that's a notch filter that you would rarely use, only if you were having um, difficulty with noise in your recordings. So I've made only one change to channel A, and I have to do the exact same changes in channel B. So I'm going to change low pass in channel B to 3000 hertz and turn off the line filter. Those are the only changes I'm going to make, and I'm going to click OK. Next, I'm going to review the settings in my collection panel or con collection bar which is at the bottom of the screen. So for adults I typically start testing at 80 dB so I double clicked on the intensity button and I'm going to type in 80 dB. I could also have left clicked to go down in intensity or right click to go up in intensity to adjust that setting. I'm going to always start testing in the right ear so I'm not going to change that. Uh, if I did my choices would be left ear or both ears. My stimulus is a click, so I'm leaving the click stimulus, and I prefer to use an alternating phase um, for my collection, and my rate just a tiny bit slower at 19.1 clicks per second. The number of sweeps is set to 1024. I'm happy with that. I'm not going to make any changes. And my window size is 12.8 milliseconds. So that I'm happy with as well. So now all I need to do is save my settings. So I'm going to select the Save Settings button. And I'm going to name this Karen's Adult Click Protocol. And I'm going to go ahead and save it. And that's how easy it is to save a protocol from the default settings. The other thing I could do is load an existing protocol and in this case I'm going to select the load button and let's say I'm going to create an infant protocol. So I'm going to select a neonate click because I'm going to start with that and then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to review my amplifier settings. Here I have a gain, and now here you can see I'm in channel B, of a gain of 30 to 3,000, I'm sorry, a gain of 100,000. High pass, low pass filters are 30 and 3,000 hertz, and I'm pretty happy with that. I don't want to make any changes. I'm testing an infant, so I for sure my high pass filter is going to be set a little bit lower than an adult. And then I'm going to review that for channel A, and that looks pretty good, so I'm not making any changes. And then I'm going to again look at the collection toolbar. I'm going to double click on my intensity. Um, I always start when I'm doing a click. I'm usually going to be looking for neuropathy or ruling out neuropathy. So I'm going to test at an intensity level a little bit higher. I'm always going to start in the right ear. I'm using a click and I'm going to use an alternating phase because with the Audera Pro you can actually split the waveform into its rare and con parts. And that's how I'll decide if there's neuropathy. And then my rate, I'm going to slow that down a little bit to 27.7. Sweeps is 1,024. I think I'm going to double that because I'm testing an infant. I can always stop if I'm getting a nice response. My window size is going to stay at 12.8. And then I'm going to save these settings. And I'm going to call it Karen's Infant can't spell, click, and save it.
and that's how you create custom protocols. I do want to say one thing, if you look up at the top where the waveform labels are, I created a ABR protocol, so I'm seeing your typical one, three, five numerical markings. Um, but if you create a different protocol, say a P300 or a VEMP, sometimes these labels will not change until you actually begin a test. So as long as you select the appropriate modality for some of those other tests, then you can be sure that the waveform markings will appear when you actually perform a recording. That's it for today. Thank you for tuning in and look for other trainings on the GSI Audera Pro.